Welcome everybody to Bad Boys TV. You're tuning in to the 2023 Derby City Classic. We got nine ball coming at you. Dan Louie versus Wolf Neem. I hope I said that right. I'm going to say yes because the internet wasn't any more helpful. <laughs> it wasn't. Nope. Alright folks, we're going to get this puppy rolling in. Scroll down. As soon as I figure out which buttons to push. Yep. And left. No, no, left, left. There you go. All right, there we go. Except for it's not going now. Hit play up there on the top part. Try that. All right, uh, there we go. I don't know why I wouldn't do it from the All right, part. so these are recorded matches <clears throat> because AccuStats does the live stuff. This is Dan Louie warming up. I've known Dan for a long, long time. Dan doesn't really have a nickname, although he should. He's certainly got images. Well, <laughs> this is the, his break. His, the, that image and there is. he is, shaking hands with Wolf, and off goes the lag. And if you look in the top right-hand corner, that is the Bad Boys logo for Nine Ball. So when you're watching our matches, if you check out the logo in the top right-hand corner... You'll have an idea of what we're playing. This is Derby City, 2023. The nine ball is race to nine. These tables are tight. Playing on four and a quarter pocket. And Wolf won the lag. We don't have a gray. Does this look kind of clear? That's... Oh, is it? Is there? A... We don't have a white. Try it a little light blue, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little closer to his color. We need more color choices. Uh, more people join our Patreon. Then, uh, you know, we'll be able to afford to get fancier scoreboards and stuff. You're going to yoink that cable that you're playing with. No, I'm not. <laughs> if you guys check out on the lower left-hand corner of the screen, our sponsors will be scrolling through. Simonis. Diamond, Lipman Lights, JB Cases, Hustlin' USA. Uh, I think that's it. Ourselves. Ourselves. <laughs> and our Patreon fans. Alright. So Wolf is going to take the first break here. Nine ball, race to nine. Oh, that was kind of weird looking. It his, did kind of look practice like, stroke. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was gonna kill it with that practice stroke. And a little glitch go. Nothing on the break. The wolf. Oh, yeah. you're gonna enjoy seeing that over and over. I am, yeah. dude. I, I at Derby, I decided that uh, he was that guy this year. Yeah. I always pick somebody to be that guy, and every time he'd get anywhere near the tournament desk, I would just go wolf. <laughs> Because that's such a cool, cool name. That's good to know you're easily entertained. I am easily entertained. Well, kicks on oh, the nice little kick and safety. That was very nice. Let's see what Wolf can do. Oh, I should probably sit close. Well, I think... Don't know if he can squeeze by that eight ball, hit the rail first. So, no, he's going to come off this bottom rail, kick into it. Got nice. Oh, look at this. Well. Oh, oh my <laughs> Lord. Wow. All right. Well. I thought it was going to stay up. Well. Quick game one. All right. Had to get you howling. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, the wolf. Yeah, go ahead. Hook me. <laughs> Must have been a full moon. <laughs> All right, Kenny, you're not going to play alone. No, and you haven't even been drinking. I know. Yeah. Oh, winter break? It's derby? I don't really... Yes, it's winter that. break. This is my beef with all the stupid nine ball rules on the planet. <laughs> Derby City, 
for the longest time was raced to seven on four and a half inch pockets. Rack your own. And nobody ever ran the set. But the problem is, is nine ball, you know, oh, hey, let's, let's put the nine on the spot. Let's okay, do let's this. Do let's do that. Let's tighten the pockets. Yeah. Now let's have a break box. And to me, it's like, okay, nobody's actually conquered the game. Like you've had great games, but I have not seen anybody run the set. It's winter break. It's been winter break forever. I just, I don't, yeah, I mean, if, if people were jumping up there and breaking and running and breaking and running and breaking and running sets, and it happened two or three times in a tournament, then I'd be like, oh, okay, well, maybe, but it hasn't. Uh-oh, look at the nine ball getting close to that corner. Yeah, it's up here again. That's Wolf's favorite nine ball corner. <laughs> or upside down. Short rack, <laughs> one <laughs> pocket. Uh, well, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, we got a bunch of videos that are coming. I'm going to try to get uh, one out every other week to this channel. And then one every other week, the opposite week, that will go to our Patreons. And everybody that joins Patreon will get to see those. And those will be big premiere matches. Nice shot there. Wow. All right. Wow. These guys must be getting old and tired. They don't, <laughs> they're like, you know, look, dude, let's just, let's just play nine, nine ball. We don't need to. The one through the eight, just, that's too much work. Well, see, I was going to say, oh, geez, it's going to be a quick set, but like, Anyone watching can see the length of the video, and it's not going to be a quick right. set. At least I, I didn't watch it. I just skimmed through. Maybe maybe they finish really fast and just hang out and hit balls for a while. Maybe that's what's going on. Could be. Could uh, be. Yeah, Dan. We got Dan. I mean, Dan is probably the nicest guy in the pool industry. He is a very nice guy. Dan, the nicest guy in pool, Louie? I don't think I've ever... Well, I mean, I'm sure Dan's probably been mad at me at some point for some reason, but I've yeah, never Yeah, but he will him. never show it. Yeah, I've yeah, never known never that he's it. mad at me. Or it so. could be uh, Dan, the legendary Louie. He is such a nice guy. I don't I don't think I've ever come across... Like, I've even seen Alex Peggy Lyon. Yeah, I've act had, a little more cross than I've ever I've, seen Dan I've had Lewis. a little grouchy at me after he's been beaten. Dan is just steady and smooth, and win or lose, he's always just so polite. Him and Efren. Efren's always been super, super polite. All right, well, we have a table that might have to run a couple balls now. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe. that nine ball didn't go anywhere. Woof is at the table. Just tapping it. Hmm. Huh. I mean, that side part is pretty small from... That shallow, <laughs> with the pockets as tight as they are. Well, you could bank cross, cross side. I don't remember his banks before or after the nine ball. And then banks were first. Banks were first, yeah. right? So, so this is the. So this they is, might, might. They've already yeah. played banks and one pocket yeah. by the time they got to this. So you know he might have his bank on. No, no. All right, fine. He wanted to hit that a little more go, so the cue ball was tight up behind the two. Is that money on the floor? Oh, that's what I was saying. I was saying someone just dropped something on the floor. Could just be paper. Could be. I hope someone. But it's Derby it. City. I hope someone picks it up <laughs> before long, because that's could gonna drive me nutty. <laughs> it's good for money. Mm. Yeah, Wolf, what you gonna do? Now he could thin the one towards the seven and just knock the six in the pocket. But the problem is, is then you're afraid. 
that you could get tied up behind the eight. So, let's see what he's going to do here. Uh, that was a little bit better approach. A little harder, he probably would have made the seven. But yeah, the, I think the reason he didn't knock it, you know, take the cue off the off the one and make the six is he could have got hooked up behind. So let's see what we can find. Dan Louis got some history. Oh, didn't make it. There's a leaving Wolf a uh, pretty easy shot here. Now, I wonder if Wolf is supposed to have an E on the end of his name. Uh, maybe. I may, I may have spelled it wrong, folks, but I'm sure he will let me know. Well, here. Get, oh, my God. What? 50-50 has got a Facebook, right? Oh, true, true, true. You young guys think of everything. I try not to. It's a problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this him? This is totally him. And Wolf is obviously just his nickname. Because his real first name appears to be Fadi. Okay. <laughs> Assuming yeah. I said that right. I could have said that wrong. Fadi, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But also this. Wolf's not a bad name to go by. May very well tell me where he's from so that I can make sure that we're saying his last name right. No. It's not on here. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm not adding random pool players. Well, I think he's <laughs> only... Well, he might have the whole ball. Yeah, he had it. A little wide there. Just a little wide. Dan Lewis from the state of Washington. You got a list of things he's won there. <laughs> well, I was trying. I know. I, th I want to say it was like. I know he was on ESPN like in the finals. Wait, is this a four ball down here? It's got to be the four I ball. I can't down remember here. what year that was, though. Okay, it is the four ball. <laughs> I'm like, why is it going Yeah, away? this is the right color for the four ball. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what year it was. I want to say it was like 2003 or I don't know. But yeah, he's he's been on the big stage. Oh, oh, no. Tight pockets. Oh, yep. And he hit that about four inches too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these pockets are tight. And you get a little older and a little little visions off just a hair, and boy, oh, boy, that can really mess your game up. Shot there. <laughs> Nine almost tried to roll up and be trouble. I guess it's. <laughs> it wouldn't have been. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> I like, just. I don't know. Well, I like just cutting this in the side. Hit the cue ball like one tip below center and just go to the top rail. See, he put spin on that, and I'm not sure. I would have just gone with a center, like a little bit of a draw. Right. You'd have hit uh, and come. I would. My plan would have been Play to shoot that eight in the lower right hand yeah. corner. Yeah. Trying to bank it. Yeah. 
You left Dan long. Do you want to let the stroke go or do you want to draw back for shaping the nine on the other side? He could just slide over too, right? Like he could just shoot a punch shot yeah. and let the cue ball just drift down here to the bottom rail. It would probably drift to about the first diamond by the side pocket on the left hand side. And he's just going to roll forward. He can do it that way too. I think my shot, he would have been a diamond closer, but he could have stroked that shot a little better and still been a diamond closer too. Now you have to look at those shots and go, man, that was tough, right? Because he bobbled that one. Yep. And that eight ball shot was a little tougher. All right, well, hopefully we don't have the score jacked up already. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is Bad Boys TV, and you guys all know how that goes. Everybody knows how that goes. We get distracted. Two to one, Dan Louis playing the wolf. Now, if we just had a little graphic of a wolf howling at the moon. Oh yeah, I'll get right on that uh, too. Just you get on that. Game. <laughs> just one more, <laughs> one more thing. To, uh -huh. uh, well, and then at the end of the video, if Dan Louis wins. He'll just go over and pet the wolf on the head and say thank you and move along. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we don't have the big dollar TV tech stuff. Even if we did, I wouldn't let you do that. Why not? No. I think that'd be funny. What you think is funny and what is acceptable to do. Yeah, yeah but it's only got to be funny to me. <laughs> uh, three ball win? Uh, and yeah. The one looks wow. kind of hooked, maybe. It's hard to tell from... From the side. And the nine ball is sitting exactly where it was last time. Yep, just kind of left it right there. Well. I don't think he can cut that in. I'm not even. Yeah. yeah I, I was going to say. I didn't even think he could see it. Oh, he passed it back. Oh, I'm trying to get my mic, so if y'all hear me breathing, don't complain. Just know that I'm alive. I'm try, trying to get it, so. And ducks. Oh, nice little leave there. That looks good. Got right through there. All right. That a lot move, move it farther away, just a little bit. Seriously? You can hear me breathing? Yes. Well, you didn't say nothing before that. Well, because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what you gonna do, Wolf? Two real kick. Oh, and he went around it. Oh. Last time he had a shot like that, it worked out really good for him. Yeah, well, you can't have them all. Nope. All right, so it looks like Dan's going to shoot the one in the upper right-hand corner and go forward. Probably hitting the rail. I, I think he wants to get up enough that he can shoot the two on the side, roll forward, and shoot the 4-9 combo. Maybe, yeah. That's what I think he's aiming for, and he's going to be short of that. Yeah, yeah, ball yeah. speed's off there. He could just roll forward. He'll be okay. But I think he wanted to be a lot... He wanted to be coming towards the four, not away from it. Oh. He's going to try to come around. Right. Oh, wow. Buy it. Well, I think it'll go in that corner. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought he was... Earlier, it looked like he was looking at the four nine. And the reason I thought he was doing that was to play a two-way. Put the cue ball in a place, we're off of the two that he could shoot the four nine, drift the cue ball behind the five six, and if the nine goes good, and if it doesn't, Wolf would be in deep trouble. Oh man, tight pockets. I hate those pockets. Well, long shot. Oh, and it's a natural and roll for shape on the five. He doesn't have 
don't get jacked up too much. Yeah, I was going to say, I jacked up a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, he almost is forcing Dan to shoot the 5-9. Kind of want to just shoot this 4 with a stop shot. Slide the cue ball to the rail by the side pocket there. Maybe even go forward just a hair. Just a little punch draw. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, how straight in did he leave Wolf? Can you draw back for the five? Looks like or does he's he gotta, up on or it. Or does he got to get that. the five? Oh, oh. Well. Um, wow, look at the shape he had there. I, although I don't think that goes in the side from there. I think he'd still have to bank that. Maybe, yeah. Hard to tell. I like shooting this four and just taking the cue ball to the third diamond by the side on the right on this bottom rail shoot the five nine next i want just a little angle on the five so when i shoot it i can just drift the cue ball over against yep right where he just pointed drift that cue ball right behind the six so if it doesn't go then wolf ain't got anything he can shoot at oh he's gonna be way short well i think dan's ball speed is way up yeah he's coming up short a couple times yeah well, I think that was the beginning of his trouble here. I like to just drift the cue ball forward just about two inches, which is a tough shot to do. And nails Drilled the bank. that nice. Now take the six in the same pocket and take the cue ball back towards Dan Louie's right hand. Yep, just like that. That's looking and then good. he's going to come back to where the five ball was. Shoot the nine ball in the upper right hand corner if he makes the eight. Oh. Oh. Jumped up a little bit there, Dan. Just Gotta a stay little down. Bit. Gotta stay down. The tight pockets that throw, start throwing your game all over the place. Look, he's going to crap it in. Nope. Nope. I don't. Oh, oh there, that's me right there. <laughs> 27 rails and left it right in front of the pocket. That's exactly how I do it. And down and back. Oh, his ball speed's going to be good here. Look at that. There it is. There's some ball speed. <laughs> Save it for the important shot. He could have he could have been a little <laughs> straighter. Nice shot, Dan. Right. Dan takes a 3 to 1 lead. Uh, well, although this match happened couple months ago we haven't got to see it yet yeah so. that is uh, the nice thing about being occupied while it's going on <laughs> you may, oh yeah no, you that would be record, tough to but do, you don't dude. really see anything that would be tough to do is to see the match and then have to go back and come oh yeah no i i there's a reason i don't really when i skim through to make sure it's like not completely broken right. i don't i don't pay any attention to who shot what it's more fun for me not knowing now, one thing I would love to do is grab these guys and have them come commentate their match. That would be fun. Yeah. Looks like uh, Hunter Lombardo's up on the other table over there. Yeah, I was looking at the background there a little bit. I know on some of these matches where you guys will see the this particular setup where there's a light by the side pocket up there, that's... Uh, these tables here, you're going to get some bonus matches on the, <laughs> yeah, table in the background. Up above. Yep. Yeah. For sure. I don't know if the other camera on the other table got both tables. I don't think so, but I haven't looked at any of those yet. One of the things we tried to 
tried to do is get my, more of the players this time in the past. We didn't have a good spot we could put the camera because of cables and stuff. And we've, thanks to our Patreon, we've upgraded some of our cables, which made it so we can put cameras in different spots, which allows you to have a better view and tent. So check us out at patreon.com forward slash bad boys out of pocket. Well, if you're going to miss. Yeah. Can he get through there? No. Maybe, but no. <laughs> Dude, he was looking at it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he could have he could have maybe gotten enough space to play a safe if he'd saw it, but a little wide. Oh. Hmm. Come back out, play the two in the same pocket. Yep. Well, to the rail, out to the middle of the table. Looks like that's uh, a four ball. Yep. Well, Is it the four ball between the seven and the nine, or no? It's the other the, one. The four balls up. Higher. Up higher. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so out to the middle. Dead center would be perfect. Ooh, He's way a short. short. There, too. Yeah, yeah. A little timid, I think. Well, and the six ball is way over here. Yeah, he's going to have to stroke this one. Nice shot there. Kind of punched that through a little bit. Pretty nice. This should be a nice little natural roll to get shaped to shoot the seven in the lower right hand corner. Yep. Yep, right there. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> now, I can't tell if he's got an angle to pull back and shoot the eight in the same pocket or if he's got a. I think he's going to the opposite corner. It'll drift go. and put the eight in the upper right hand corner. Yeah, that's what I think from the angle. Nope. He's oh, just he stopped it right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Must be nice to have. <laughs> That's a long reach, buddy. That's, That's a, a long big reach. Table. Your eyes got to be working. Well, look at, I don't know if he's going to have a foot on the ground here. <laughs> okay. Nice shot. Yep. Going to be short. 50-yard line. Yeah, the do it again. cursed 50 yard line. He's going to look at the side pocket. I hate this shot because this is one of those shots where it's like you want to roll forward, don't scratch, but you want to leave the cue ball right on that rail. About where the rack is is where he wants to leave it. But I can't. Oh, he's got a way thinner cut than I thought. Okay, Wolf's got a shot here. <laughs> nice hit. Nice shot, Wolf. And three, two. Younger eyes. It's somebody says. Well, you should do something to make, you know, you gotta, you gotta move this stuff around and change the racks because you want to make the game more fair to the players. And all I can think is, is okay, then everybody should have to shoot through distorted glasses. Yeah. <laughs> right. Your vision's gotta be just as crappy as mine. <laughs> Stop it. Tap dancer. <laughs> Uh, that's my favorite thing about Derby. It's all the characters. Mm. The 
perfect rack. That nine ball didn't go nowhere. The balls got spread out. He didn't hit that. Yeah, nothing to win. The cue ball had a bunch of top spin. He didn't hit that real good, but not like that mud rack they were getting at that uh, that one event. Well, <laughs> the slug rack open. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Some oh. of that was just wow. I feel really bad for the one player because, like, he hit the rack and it looked like he hit it good. But it was like the corner ball comes shooting out of there and three rails around and it goes back into the rack yep. and knocks like two more balls out. It was like, oh my God. You know, okay, sometime I want to take <laughs> some balls, rack them up. But just drop just a little drop of glue where they're touching on each one. I'm gonna wait until it dries and then hit it and see what Super happens. Glue. Yeah, just just a little drop of glue. Nice kick. There. Oh, I thought it was going. Where was it? It was. It was. That would be funny to see what happens. So back in the day, <coughs> Accustats used to do VHS tapes, <laughs> and they were. I want to say it was the. The Reno Open, or one of it was uh, it was one of those. Yeah, nice. Uh, and uh, I thought it was going. Somebody racked the ball, and the guy gets up here and he breaks him. Man, he hit it. It was and it was a player that could break, right? And he hits the rack, and the balls just go <laughs> <laughs> like like a couple come out. And I want to say it was like Grady Matthews or Bill and Cardona or. And they're like, whoa, boy, they put concrete in that rack. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, oh, oh, hangs up. Oh. See, now I really am curious. So, that someday I'm going to mess around and see what it looks <laughs> Just like. see what happens. When you break a rack oh. that's actually been glued together. Did he get out far enough to see the three? Uh, he, yeah, must he must have. He must have, but... Yeah, that's... Wow. He almost came short. Oh, no, no he, he didn't. didn't. Oh, he's going to scurry. Well, there's the other thing about those tight pockets. Tougher to scratch. I mean, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh. Wow. It went round. That's disappointing. As the incoming player, too, it's you're almost ashamed to ask, did you just miss that ball completely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, uh, it's like, it's I, like I rubbing being, it in yeah, just I hate, a little bit. I hate bit. being that guy, right? It's like, well... <laughs> But thought, you have to. You I have thought to, I was paying attention, but... And it's not what oh, the guy... Oh, no. What the uh, hangers? It's 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 really not that. You have to ask, but I always felt like it was rubbing it in, especially if you ask with a smile on your face. Like I saw you epically miss that ball, but I'm gonna ask anyway. <laughs> Why does it feel like the score should be much bigger? It's just us. I don't know. Oh, whoa, perfect. Yeah. If you can reach it. <laughs> I know there's a bridge on this table. Cause I saw Kobe go over and use it to move the camera one night. Yeah, well, he just switched hands, so. Yeah, but he ain't got the mad skill he used to 20 years ago. And a little froggy. A little froggy there, Dan. <laughs> a little short. Yeah, shooting with the opposite hand is not a skill that I... I can do it, but not if I'm putting anything on that ball or going very far. <laughs> if I'm just... If it's just I nice got to where I was pretty good tappy. with it. Just nice little roll. Nice shot I got, there. I got good with it because I'm short. And I, I, if you can get comfortable shooting that way, I like it better than getting the bridge. 
Because sometimes the bridge is just a problem. I mean, I didn't get good like John Mora, you know, switch hands and be a world champion. <laughs> right. Holy moly. It hurts my brain to think about. How impressive that is. Uh, Woof! Brings it back. 3-3. Three, three. He's trailing 3-1. to one. He's won two in a row. A third of the way through the match, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf seems like a really nice guy. He he took all my ribbon at the tournament desk pretty good. Yeah, well, if they can put up with you for more than a couple of days, he would probably, be, he'd be, probably all right. He'd be standing out in front of the desk. Just standing there. Yeah. And I'd just yell, Wolf! Just for no reason. Yeah, no that reason. sounds about no right. Reason. Just, you know, pep, pep up the, the surrounding situation a little bit. I think it's more a matter of you just have no self-control. But. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Take a medicine for that. It's not working. Oh, I can't. It makes me tired. <laughs> then I gotta go take a nap. <sighs> kind of hard to do when you're running derby. <laughs> yeah, no, no naps allowed. Oh man, this year's kicked my ass, dude. Oh, it was going. Well, he got one there. That nine ball was headed towards the side. We'll never know. Somebody, uh, somebody is going to rewind. <laughs> put, draw a little line on their TV. Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't going, man. I was going to catch the point. <laughs> it had the speed. It would have dropped. It would have taken 2.1 seconds more to get dropped, but... <laughs> yeah, this year at Derby was brutal. Lots of hours. Yep. Man, that had me thinking of something for a second there, and I lost it. The someone give, doing the figure and all out all the pieces and and, and <laughs> you know measuring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people will go that extra mile to figure out the things afterwards. And sometimes I don't know about them. Oh, put a little too it's much coming brakes back. on it's it. It's coming back. But real after contact? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ball in hand. Imagine how that would change the game. Oh, if you could, as long as you If you hit had to hit a rail and a ball, and that's it. Instead of the rail after. Right? As long as there was a rail involved in hitting of the ball, your object ball. Yeah, that could change some things. For it sure. could, yeah. Could get pretty weird. Wee! Nice little. There you oh, go. Oh, you <laughs> cheeser. All you right. cheeser. Woof. I just thought he was having fun there, but. Swinging, swinging <laughs> away. Woof. Hey, now. Oh. Blue. Here comes Kitty Kitty. <sighs> hi. Yes, hi. Come here. Stop yelling Good at me. Good lord. Shh. <laughs> Do it now. Hi. Hi. Cat just owns you. <laughs> well, no, stop. She owns you. It's going to be a long trip across country. It always is. Poor Apollo. I'm going to be sitting in the back seat going, oh, nobody loves me. <laughs> Blues will be up there going, meow, meow. <laughs> All right. So Wolf is taking the lead, four to three, race to nine. This is the 2023 Derby City Classic, nine ball division. You can tell by looking at the nine little ball flickering logo. light. And I don't know. It does. It flickers just a little bit. It's so subtle. It's, yeah, I can see it's it a little bit. Much easier to see on a bigger Skinny's screen. Skinny's quite proud. He's he got those. I think they're cool too. Well, you know, you forced me to mess with the video editor software. That's so the nine I, ball rack. So I so learned. when that rack is up in the corner, you'll know we're playing nine ball. And he's made one for one pocket. Yep. Ten ball. Banks even. Got one for banks. Yep. And we'll be creating some more. I like it. Ouch. 
eventually we will have you know some merch that has that on there with that particular game some cool artwork but yeah those racks if, if you're watching our streams you probably won't be able to tell on your phone or any of that but the racks actually flicker like a little neon sign there yeah you know. and we we that's so we started a podcast where we talk about all things pool rant about pool whatever ramble Rant, yeah, yeah, sometimes we just bullshit. <laughs> Rant, ramble, bullshit a little purposes. bit of everything. But the logo we created for that Kenny made is the Bad Boys, and it's he made it look neon, and I it actually, flickers. I might have to redo that one. I think I lost it when the hard drive died, so, so we just have the first version. Right. <laughs> but it could be better. But, yeah, we were looking for a look, and then, you know, it's like, why not make racks to, to advertise what game we're playing? I think eventually we will add, I need to add a rules highlight. Wow, I can't believe he missed that. Yeah, he missed that pretty bad, too. Uh, you know, some kind of little rules bit for the people that don't know what they're watching. Well, and it helps us, too, you know, when we forget what game we can play. <laughs> and we lose track of the score. That's true, I yeah, can just look yeah. up that. Oh, that's right, yeah. We're playing, yeah, yeah, we're playing nine. We're playing nine ball. Yeah. It's going to be useful. What's for really going to suck is when we forget to change the rack. <laughs> exactly. When we change the game. Yep. Because, uh, you know, some events, like we got a, a well, tournament that we're putting on in Kelowna, British Columbia, at the Ogo Pogo Bar Table Championships. And they'll be playing 10 ball, 9 ball, and 8 ball. But uh, I think we're going to use a different streamer for that event. Keep the product in Canada. And Help other people in the pool industry. We like to work with people. Most people, most of the time. <laughs> yeah, some people can <laughs> kiss my ass. Um, if you want to see some more Derby City, check out Railbirds. Yep, they've got some, they got some going matches up. that are popping up now. Well, now, whenever we, <laughs> whatever is. Well, while I'm talking about this, they've got. I think they've had three go up so far. We're trying to get our ducks in a row, too, but been a little busy. A lot of ducks to get in a row. Oh, my and they God. Do not yeah, our ducks well. have run amok. Nice shot, Nice there. shot. I think he just pulled he back a little for the yeah. Just in the stop I think he wants basically. to pull back, like, half a diamond. Yeah, like that. So that he has an angle where he can drift over to the nine. I think that's what he'd like to do. Hopefully the sound on this is good. On the last video, we may go back and re-commentate that last one. Maybe. Because the background noise is super loud. Well, I we've never had the camera and mic on, so... Yeah, I didn't even didn't even occur to Hopefully me. you guys are picking up a little bit of background noise, ball sounds and stuff. I, I, that's know, nice. I know how pool players like to hear the ball sounds. Well, I mean, it's just nicer uh, yeah. than the dead quiet, but... It's like ambience. Yeah, we're trying to... All right, 4-4. Four, four. Trying to give you guys a... Yeah, the dead quiet is brutal, because if we don't keep talking, the dead quiet is just like, gosh, shit, is my TV broke, or... Well, nobody wants me just yapping away the whole time. Right. You know, if you got balls clicking sound in the background and people clapping, it much better, I think. We just didn't realize that the camera was on the last video, and it was Efren Reyes and Joshua Filler. It's a great match. It's on our Patreon if you want to go check it out. Five bucks a month. You could be a member, got uh, special shows we put in there, interview shows from Derby that the public won't see, yep. well, and then matches from here that, uh, you know, I mean, maybe three, four, five months down the road we'll put those out to public, but. Well, and if you're a regular viewer of our channel, you know, you've, you've seen a lot of free content over the years. So. Yeah. 
Feel free to you know, kick, us, kick us a little bit so we can keep doing that and keep improving it. <laughs> maybe maybe bring in some better commentators. Fuck! <laughs> what's in the wild? Hey, look at that. Saving the, saving the cue ball there. Well, yeah, if we could, uh, we get enough Patreon people, we'll get you guys some, some better commentators. <laughs> we'll improve the commentary. Right now, I'm, uh, working for free, so. It's all I can afford. <laughs> Mama said if I do this one today, she'll cook dinner tonight, because we need the video hits. And <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Cuts it back. Oh, don't hit the side. Oh, uh, well, he's going to get a hook anyway, yeah. but he did not want to hit that. And he jacked him up. But Wolf, he's got a plan. He's committed. He's got her moving. Oh, a little scary there. Yep. It's available. How good are those eyes, Dan? I know I can't see that far no more. That's why I commentate. And... <laughs> really? That's why I commentate and run tournaments and don't play no more. Yep, that's why. That's that's what would happen to me. Only, I might have missed the one. I feel like we're playing the combo here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, that was very fortunate there, Wolf, and you know it, man. That, you, <laughs> that could have gone badly. That, that could have been really bad. Nice spin, gonna come, oh, whoa, whoa. Perfect. A little loosey goosey there. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Right where I wanted it to be. Nice shot. Uh oh. Oh no. Not perfect. Uh, he drilled the pocket, just didn't get enough spin. He wanted that to hit the side rail, probably right before the side pocket on the left side. And then would have ended up right there where Dan put it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's where perfect. we wanted it to be. There, there's the perfect shape. A little pop off the rail for the six. Nope. Nice little angle there. Got him moving up towards that seven. Gonna shoot the seven in the lower left-hand corner unless he spins way hard. It looks like he's going to put... Uh, just sometimes it, it looks like funky. he's going to do something and then he doesn't. He's in pretty decent space right there. All he's got to do is just shoot this. If there's a little angle there, so just let the cue ball drift forward a little and it will go up towards the top of the screen. Should leave him the eight in the side. Nice just and like easy. that. Honestly, I thought he was going to come up a little farther than that. He'll probably stop right there. Yeah, yeah he could yeah. go with the rail. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the same spot, same, basically. Same, he same, just, same. He went forward to let the stroke go, put a little inside in it to get it three inches closer. That's the, the meme with the two images. What's the difference between these two? They're both the same. <laughs> All right. Dan takes a five to four. And we're past the half. We're pretty much doing two game swings. Yep. Danny was up 3 1. Wolf came back, made it 4 3. Dan's Quit coming playing back with to make it 5 4. You're grabbing it. Stop. <laughs> also, that is clearly not money on the floor now. It would have been gone a long oh, yeah, time no, ago. Oh, yeah, no money against the end of floor that long at Derby City. <laughs> Ain't a chance. <laughs> yeah. Five to four. Yep. Yeah, we got some great matches coming. I was looking at the list. We just got to get them commentated in our spare moments. <laughs> Got some really super good ones. Yep. Got filler. 
Thorpe, Shane Van Boning, Fetter, more Efren. More Efren, yep. We um, got, we put one Efren match up, which means we got nine more. Nine more matches with Efren. Oh, and, and now people are going to start hounding us to get those out. I know, we just have to be <laughs> patient. That's the ones they want. I think six of them will go to the Patreon. Four we might put out to the public. Well, long shot here. Is he, is he cutting it? Yep. Good. That's a pretty all right duck. Yikes. Froze up to the ball. He really doesn't take much time to look at those, does he? Uh, he's feeling pretty comfortable about swinging right at that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no shot clock, Wolf. You're okay. You could have taken a little extra. He's like, look here, man. Play my game, you play your game. <laughs> or as the truck drivers on the cross the country say, you drive your truck out to that box. Yeah, and they'll stay in your lane, but they can't keep it in a lane. No, they can't. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. There's no such thing. Uh-huh. All right. That'll work. Um, he's got man. To, he's got to get up here, though. He got Big. really straight on that. He's got to put a lot of funk on this one. And yep. he did. Not enough. Not enough. Mm. Not enough. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, he got too straight on that after. Watch that three. rack's hanging out on the table there now. Watch the rack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nice, kind of, nice kind of hook there. Yeah, cue ball come and hit that rack. That's a foul. Problem child. What you gonna do, Wolf? Can Wolf jump? I haven't seen him jump. He don't need to. Oh. Did he catch the point there a little bit? That's what it looked like. Because he was pretty wide. Yeah. I think he's just going to try to draw that straight back towards the side pocket. Yep, keep it close to the rail. So he's got a clear shot on the six. Got to be careful. Oh, he poked it. That's probably okay. I thought he'd try to draw that back farther. It looked like he just kind of gave it more of a poke. Yeah, it didn't, just didn't go it, very far. Yeah, just slid it to the rim. Nice shot. Uh-oh. Well, no. Yeah. Either he wanted to go way up table or way farther to the right because I think he can shoot this with follow, but he's running farther away from the eight than than he would like to. Yeah, nice see, that's shot. when Dan shoots better. Notice when he gets down in strokes. If the tip goes way past, he's hitting those shots. It's when he shoots timid and sh you watch some of the shots where he'll like stop his stroke short. Those are the ones he tends to be missing. And that looks pretty good. And I, I, I get that. If you're not feeling good, your eyes are a little off, anything's a little off, then that definitely starts to happen, whether you want it to or not. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't take much for you to, without her subconscious, I don't know, whatever, some, 
start yeah. your tightening shit up to get stuff into them. And yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Things to go bad. Yeah. I was going to say subconscious, but I don't really know if it's that exactly. Yeah, like your, it's not even like your conscience. This is even... <laughs> Even the subconscious isn't it's really... It's not even really really the factor. ...functioning properly. Well, apparently Wolf went to the restroom. Well, maybe. I, did I look down for a second? He just threw the ball yeah, out there. Yeah, I think Wolf went to the restroom. Well, I would hit the button, but I don't want to go too far. It's too twitchy. Right. Well, and the thing is, too, in all fairness, Dan does not have to wait for Wolf. Because it's Dan's break. And you're technically, you're only supposed to take the restroom break when it's your turn. Now, when it's winter break, that could be a problem. Yeah. Well, you know, being fair, fair enough, I'm just, yeah. I'm just. Oh, I hadn't thought of it. Seeing the rules, but when it's winter break, it's like, oh man. Yeah. Well, but that know. really was hasn't been the case in this game. Wolf is. Yeah, had he's a couple been of shots. at the table plenty. The pockets are tight. People are getting their opportunities. Well, like I said, Dan being a nice guy, he'll wait till Wolf gets back, and then he'll rack. Some places don't allow you to practice. Yeah, I was in between. My my first thought every time I see someone practicing in the middle of a match is like, you're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, it doesn't doesn't really matter here. Though. Yeah, except for for me, in this particular situation, I think I would I would want practice to be allowed, right? Because first of all. It was Dan's turn at the table. He didn't want to take the break, right? So technically, he could continue shooting. I suppose. And there's that whole thing of, you know, you get yeah. into a groove and then you got the players. And yeah, they Wolf is not you. that guy, yeah. right? Yeah. But you have the players that will take a timeout just to try to yeah. ice, ice their opponent a little bit get into a groove and you're hitting them super good in matches like this especially in nine ball you can get in that little groove spurt and win four or five games right and you and you see it happen all the time where it goes one way or it goes the other way for sure yeah We don't. We don't even have a cur uh, commercial we could run. Well, I not yet. I wasn't really thinking about running mid reel commercials. I know. Yeah. Well, you got your little intro thing. You got your little outro thing. Yeah, we got to get a commercial. You got right. your cool little neon logo and our rotating little little sponsor logo. Yeah. Just saying, it's getting yeah. it's getting nicer. A little, yeah, little we're, getting, time. we're getting there. Then next, you're gonna want me to do post post commentary production. <laughs> We're gonna go back <laughs> and edit it. Yeah, that'll be that'll yeah. Yeah. I don't have that sort of time, honestly, and go definitely don't and, have that skill. Right, right. Yeah, go Not back and do anyways. that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of this match, you'll notice at the 14.35 second <laughs> yeah. that something weird is gonna happen, and we'll explain it later. So check it out, watch it. <laughs> And then at the end of the video, I go, yeah, it was the wrong video, but hey, had you thinking, didn't we? Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, I should be back any old time yeah. here. I, I want to say the U.S. Open 2000. Seven. Okay, what about it? You should start with, like... Dane. <laughs> what are you talking about first? Just dropped in the middle of a match. Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah, yeah, they rushed him to the hospital. It was bad. And he came back. That was the year Shane won the first year he played there. Yep, U.S. Open, he won that one. There's an interesting story. 
Shane Van Boning. I had cross paths with Shane Van Boning a couple of times. The Reno Open. Uh, he was just starting to really hit balls good and stuff. And we were working for the BCA Pool League. And back then they had the pro event that was put on by WPBA, I think. And they had a pro event and they told the BCA, hey, you guys can pick a player to play. And Mark Griffin had come to me and Bill Stock and said, hey, we need to pick a guy to play in this pro event. And it was between another person. And Shane Van Bowen. I know exactly who it was. Well, the other person had kind of done me wrong, so we picked Shane Van Bowen. Give someone's fresh blood a try, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it was going to be a, a beginning jump for either player. And, uh, yeah, it was between those two. So we picked Shane. Shane ends up finishing second at that tournament. <laughs> And, and I feel like, obviously, Shane was going to go places in pool, without a doubt. But I like to take credit along with Bill Stock that, hey, we gave Shane Van Boning his, his start, right? Now it, it feels good. And it was, he, he took second in that event, and then the very next event was... It's like tangential bragging Ten rights. ball. I <laughs> can't remember the name of the event. And he went and won that in the finals against Cliff Joyner. And then, and then it was on. From there, it was like, yep. Shane and just, Shane just went crazy. I mean, he he ends up winning the U.S. Open. I, I believe it was the same year. I think that was all 2007. I it just was pretty er, wild. Every time you start telling that story, I always think of the year at. It was the bar table at the Grand Sierra, I think. With the whole. When, when, when the devil got into the room, John Mora was randomly angry for no reason. Pots and pans died Oh, twice. that was the U.S. bar table. That was like, oh, that was weird. Yeah, that was There like, was like four fights. Really when weird we things that happened. moved over to the Grand Sierra. Yep. Yeah, the pots and pans thing is what comes to yeah, my mind every like time. Yeah, he died like three times in that damn event. Yeah, yeah they rushed in the hospital twice. Yeah. There was, there was, it was like, what is the movie with Denzel Washington? It's uh, Fallen, is the one that always comes to mind. Yeah. yeah where the, the devil bounces from person to person. Yeah. It was like something it got into that awesome. room and it was just, yeah, players were just acting weird, weird things. Yeah. Yeah. It was a strange time. Well, he's got a long shot here. Okay. Is this dude. This this might just be me in one of those moods, but the question No, no. Behave yourself. Just here it, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you, what I really want to say who it is and what the question is, because I'm totally confused with the question. Well, I see that you said, huh, and that's kind of what my response was. Oh, yeah, to. that question don't even make don't sense Don't even bother. Me. Just let it let it go. I mean, they'll clarify or they won't eventually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That question didn't even make sense to me. Oh, wow, I didn't think he was going to... Oh, <laughs> that would have been cool. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think they were even going to be able to hit that. Well, there's a tough combo. Yep. And the problem is holding it up. Yeah, you're not. You're probably not going to have much off of that unless you drill it and get lucky. Because that one ball is going to come. What's he going to do? He might just bank it to the rail. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well, he's still going to get a hook. Not a full hook like he would have, I think. Catching that point really sent it out there. I feel like he was trying to cheese well, that nine a little swings, bit. man. He, he don't mess around when he, he makes up his mind 
quick. He's one of those, uh, the chess guys with the this. super fast, click, yeah. click, click, back. Yeah. <laughs> he decides quick and goes. Oh my god. Yeah, I just put it down right now. <laughs> Nice shot there, playing the combo. I'm just going to say this. No. Really? No. Behave yourself. He's playing the combo. I and just, I want to say it. Has a so good, sh good shot there. Uh. Yep, yeah, going to follow it up. Looking all right. Six is all the way down here at the rail. <laughs> Dude. Yep. Good shot on the six. There's no hope. Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm done teaching people what I know. I know, right? Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to say. They want yeah. okay. And they want to run their own tournament. Yep, whatever. I'm done teaching people what I know. I've been doing this job for a long time. I've learned a lot of things. I have a lot of knowledge uh, that people don't really, really take into account. And I'm not giving it away for free for people who, you know, are... Are you trying to put me under the bus? Right. <laughs> Just not doing so it. So is he going to two rail or is he going to pull out? He's going to two rail. Well, he's hitting it with draw, isn't he? I, I don't know. I, you can't tell with Dan. I'm sitting back here, so I... Two rail. Got enough whoa, spin. Whoa, oh, no. Go, the 50 Go, yard whoa, line. go, whoa. One or the other. <laughs> Damn it. Too much side spin and not enough forward go. And look at, man. He's got to reach all the way out oh, there, too. That's so tough. I like just bumping it straight to the rail. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Is he going to try to cut it in? Holy crap. I dude. mean, maybe. It's kind of looking like he's trying to, doesn't it? Madman right here. A little, little practice stroke. A little itty bitty stroke. Yeah. Oh, he overcut it. And scratched. Oh. Ouch. All right. Wow. Yeah. And he conceded that one. Six five. Overcut that by a mile. <laughs> Impressive. <Woo! laughs> An actual skill shot right there. It's always wild when they cut that ball and it looks like it's going like backwards. <laughs> what in the heck is going on? In that, I'm just not looking at it. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, I'm sure you couldn't. Uh, marking on the B counters up there. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. No, no, he, yeah, he's. Yeah, yeah, no. Six I'm, five. I'm just babbling because there was a down moment there. Uh, I didn't see anything go. Gotta make this and bring it back a little bit. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> Got some work to do. Yeah. I mean, the problem here is you gotta shoot the two. And then be in a position where you can shoot the three. And get to that four ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's the four by the five, right? Yep. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I mean, he could shoot and stop right here, then he could shoot the three, draw to the rail where he's at right now with the cue ball. I don't like going this way. He's going to be okay, but man, he had to miss a lot of stuff there. Yeah, all right, he's looking at where he's got to be for that. And it looks like he's going to be right on them. Oop, oh, get short. off the rail. A little short. Yeah. God, I felt like that slowed down pretty quick, honestly. I thought it was going to go a little farther. I can hear your breathing. <laughs> and oh, almost made a two for one there. It's okay, he's got the five. Yeah, but he's against the rail there. Yeah, but he's got the five. And that six is, is pretty deep. As long as he doesn't get behind the nine, it should be makeable. And he should not end up behind the nine. Yeah, he's got to put a little bit of a stroke on it. Nice shot. Nicely done. Oh, got a stretcher now. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad, really. I thought he was going to have to reach farther. Oh, he's going to go too far. Oh, oh. Hang on, hang oh. on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, slow down. He's, oh, he's all right. <laughs> Good Lord, man. <laughs> Where are you guiding the ball? Just a little tappy here. Pull the eight in the opposite corner. And don't end up on the 50 yard line. That's the goal. No 50 yard line. <laughs> Are you going to play with a group there? Making my oh no, Dan! Danny, all that work, you overcut it. All that work. Yep, and he should be good to make that. And ties it back up. Press the button. Give him his game. Game 6-6. Six, six. Wolf is back in the match. Uh, you know what? I'll wait till we're not on the stream. I had a snarky thing to say. I'm just. Oh, I got a whole bunch to say, but. I mean, they can start right now if they want. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, well, the question still isn't very clear. No, I have no idea what the question was about. 
Oh, one wow. didn't go. Wolf just can't get anything to go on the break. Yeah. He's hit them pretty solid. I mean, he's yeah, he's opening the table pretty good, but he's got stuff moving around. I think he's only made something on the break in one or two games. My memory's not. <laughs> I can't I'm remember. not even sure that. Man. I don't remember those sort of details that well. Yeah. But, ouch. Okay, cat. Yeah. You're making sitting here much, much more uncomfortable. Dan's got a long way to go to get on this one, two ball from the one ball. Watch outside, pocket. Yep, going for a ride. Oh, he went forward. Nice choice. Don't hit it. Oh, oh it was looking good too. Yeah, he can't get. It. He just he coming around the table. He just hasn't been able to get there. Whether it's something gets in his way or the ball speed has just been off. I like putting this cue ball right behind the 5-9. Right 5-9, yep. And that's a good place to put it, right yeah. there. Could have been a little little closer up in that mess. Could have been all up in the grill. Froze between the 5 and the 8 would have been <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Little Hunter Lombardo's getting to hit a bunch of balls up there in the corner. I think they played a full match back there. Yeah, he's just hitting balls waiting for his next match. Bonus, bonus pool. <laughs> All right, Dan Louie has got ball in hand. Score six to six in a race to nine. The Wolf is trying to take Dan, the legendary Louie, down. And the legendary know, we're man. Gonna, yeah, we're going we're <laughs> to. I keep, thought you were going with it. I was going to, and then I changed it up in the middle. <sighs> nice as a guy in pool. I don't know. He should. He deserves a nickname. I'm sure he's got to have a nickname I just am not familiar with. Which is hard to say. Well, they're to using say, his I, silhouette. Oh, yeah, no, his old break when he'd oh my come God, up in the air. Yeah, when oh, his whole came body is flying through the air. And, I don't think you can see. Yeah, the ball speed has just been off for Dan. He's running out of go go. <laughs> I know that feeling. When you come up like just two inches short on everything, just. And then when you do try to compensate, it's like then you roll five miles too far. Well, that's think... not a bad place to leave it, really. It's got him Massan anyway. Oh, Massan. curved oh, early. early. Early bird. Early bird hit the eight. Spread those two out. Dan's got ball in hand. Wait. Six is in front of the pocket. Seven's in the middle of the table. Is it the four on the bottom rail here? Or I guess the side rail or up by the five nine? I think it's the five nine. The four is up there, right? Yeah, must be. He's going that way, so. shot there leaves them both sitting where they are so can run this all the way up and play the six in the same spot trying to decipher whatever weird gobbledygook they're <laughs> being asked. Uh. <laughs> I said really. But it separated. It really was, really, what are you asking? 
Because the question doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand the question. So. Well. Nice yep. shot. Looking good. Got the right angle to just go straight across the table. Just got to not overcut this one. Seems to be. It's been a bit of a thing. You know? Yeah. Well, he seems to be. Like, see, this is what killed part of my game. See how down he gets on the shot? That's how I used to play. So when I hurt my back, I can't get down where I used to. So my game I, is honestly, totally broken. I don't know how he gets down that low with glasses on. Because when I get down that low, I'm looking hey, over my glasses. His, his neck still works and ours, <laughs> ours like, doesn't. I don't know. I feel like he's looking over his glasses <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That's what it is, dude. <laughs> oh, that makes my neck hurt. I got no about. neck, so I can't. <laughs> oh, I, I can't bend my head <laughs> back to. Yeah. Broke my back and then didn't play for a while. And then when I did start trying to play, I had to add glasses. So, mm -hmm. And I just never could get it back. Yeah, no, I can I can relate to the glasses <laughs> problems. That's always been my, my issue. Can't, don't have the flexibility. All right. Rack it up. 7-6. Race to nine. I don't understand what he's asking. I don't know. Just put it down for now. Because you're distracted. You're, you're not nearly as entertaining when you're distracted by really dumb, fake questions. <laughs> that make no uh, sense. It's just... Uh, it's... Wow. I don't know. Not really sure what the point even would be. Because, like, all the... Isn't it the same thing? The what, question he's asking is this... It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. I wish we had the chat room going so I could ask the chat room <laughs> what the hell this question means to them. And now I'm sure he's mad at me because I said, really? What exactly are you asking? And now you want to answer. That's so. fine. Just let them hang. Hang and hang themselves. Yeah, neither one of these players. Like, Dan's made a few balls on the break, but just neither one of them are really getting good breaks. Oh, and look at that. Wow. There you go. I was wondering how he was going to make that and get shape on the two. <laughs> <laughs> Not the shape I was I, Yeah, no, I didn't see that coming either, but he, uh... Well, okay. <laughs> get back to the corner with you. <laughs> uh... Well, it's kind of, yeah, taking away that one. I one like rail. the two rail. I wish we had the telestrator go. Oh. He's two railing that way, out of two railed the other way. Uh, yeah, I wasn't thinking of this way, but. He's going to make a nice hit. I nope. think he missed it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that. I liked going the other way just because I thought you could end up with stuff in a better final position. Like, going this way, the cue ball would have hit the two, you know, to the bottom side of the table, and the cue ball would not have gotten behind the 4 and 8. But going the other way, you're bumping the stuff towards the 4 8. Might have been able to get behind all. Really? I was going to get enough to. <laughs> yeah, he's got enough to see the four. Is he going to hit this with inside spin and come up to the middle of the table for the five? Or is he going to three rail for the five? Which you could do. You just hit this with right hand spin, cut the four in, cue ball misses this seven, then hits the rail. Two railing out of the corner going towards the five from where Wolf is standing right now. Now, see, he did that with inside English, which makes the shot a little tougher. But I probably would have shot it the same way. 
but when you do inside English, overcut the ball just a hair. Oh. Apparently he's got a kick. God, that eight ball is going to be so close. Oh. That's just bullshit right there. <laughs> nice try, Dan. Nice try. You were robbed. Pool gods were not with you on this day. Okay. I think he shoots it up towards the nine, takes a cue ball to the rail, back up against the back side of the six for a safety play. Or that. I would have done it with draw. Could have been a little bit better I safety. Feel like he's I, would, out I wanted there. to keep it behind that six. He op He let it out a little bit. He might still have him. Maybe. It doesn't look like he should, but he must. Well, I'm surprised he well, didn't just pull. It's close. Just Either a way. a little <laughs> bit of draw on that cue ball. And yeah. He could have had him really, really bad. Dan's looking that many times. It's it's a little tight. Going to do this with a lot of spin. Yep, got, got underneath it. Uh, well, something might go for a ride. Watch out. Here goes the wolf. Oh, he, 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 took a, he took a second <laughs> that time. Okay. That surprises me. That surprised me. Yeah. Because he didn't really hook him. I mean, it looked. I think he was trying to get the cue ball behind the eight. Obviously, you know, leave him long. a little heavy well he was he was gonna have to bank the six yeah not really leaving easy shots though yet so. not yet getting close to the end of the match you guys are tightening up a little bit kind of wish we could see a clock in the, in the background somewhere just to get a feel for if it's like early morning or late at night or uh, you know I want to say this was late afternoon if I remember right because I remember Wolf standing by the desk waiting, and then we called him to that table. I remember calling him to the table. Mm. The things that you keep in your head sometimes. Yeah, my mind. well, and then I think either between this match or it was either right after this match or before this match is when uh, they interviewed Dan Louie. Nice shot. That was very nice. Yeah, this is where your stroke and these super tight pockets really come in. Because you want to shoot this and you want to draw back so you got a nice little shape on the 7. If you're off at all, that ball don't go. Take a second. Stand up at it. Can you draw it back and put it in the pocket? Right. Let's see. Uh, nice shot. I think he's playing just a little on the timid side, though. Yeah, just a, a little tight there. Like, the... he looked like he was getting ready to stroke, and then he backed off. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh! Same guy shot both shots. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. 
Yeah, I didn't feel like there needed to be that much I, extra effort thrown into that. Right? right, I didn't think he was straight in. I think he could have just shot that, followed to the rail, and back out, got a nice angle on the eight. Oh, look at this. Wolf's going to get lucky. Uh, uh, maybe. Wolf needs three. Dan only needs two. Dan is at the table shooting the seven. Honest to God, I don't know who wins this one either. Yeah, no, I don't ever. I feel like. I don't know. It's going to keep. It's going to stay close. So I, th I think we have wow, a Wow, nice shot. That was a nice shot. Under the pressure and everything. He's one of the shots I like to just let go. Put a little spin on it. And four rail for shape to where the cue ball is right now. Yeah. Gotta make it first. <laughs> yep. yep. And I have now knocked everything off this. Let's see what he does. I don't like two railing for the shape because I just want to let the stroke go here. I don't. Oh. Wow. He put a lot of. He hit that pretty fat. That's why he so tight off the two rails. Plus he hit it. I looked to me like he hit that with a little bit of draw. I think he just hit that at like one o'clock. You know, hit the cue ball at one o'clock. I think it was a natural four railer for shape, and but I'm not at the table, so. Wow, wow. What, do you, what, do Wolf, you know? what the hell? Hey, look at this, look at this. Well, okay. Oh, he's going to be... <laughs> I thought it was going to come up a little <laughs> shorter than that. Nice but, shot, Wolf. Well, that'll work. Ooh. Hi, hi, rodent. Yes, would you like back up here? Brown, oh, come here. Two good shots right there about a wolf. Ugh, come on. Tied up, 7-7. Seven, seven. How you not howling at that one? That was a great shot on that eight ball. I do not approve of random howling in the tournament room. I feel like that could go wrong really quickly. Oh, I say give him character. Let <laughs> him go. Yeah. Oh, just leave it. Just, just stop. I have to laugh deep inside. I guess I I don't get to use this arm. Hi, hi, kitty. Here we go. Get race to two. <laughs> You're such a brat. The cat's a brat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Still. Not, whoop, whoop. Nope, not on the brain. <laughs> Lots of things getting closer to going. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to Derby City 2023 Bad Boys TV. Don't forget to check our Patreon out. I guess it's, I guess it's technically it's Bad Boys TV or Bad Boys TV slash the Out of Pod. Out of pocket podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's if you go to pod patreon dot com forward slash bad boys out of pocket where we have a bunch of interviews from Derby. And that's where we're gonna put up some of the premier matches. Nice shot there. Yep. And all sorts of goofy discussions with you know. <laughs> 
wackadoodleness. Oh, jumped up a little bit there, Wolf. Getting too excited, but you can't go until the match is over, so. <laughs> Where's that? Okay, there's the three. Two to the three. Where's the four? Four is on the top rail there. Or by the side pocket. Just sorting it out in my head. Which way we're, or we're maybe going. Right. Oh. Well, he's going to shoot the three six combo. Actually. Yeah, no, I don't think the three goes by the six. Yeah. If he shoots a stop shot here, Play shoot with enough speed corner. so that, yeah, oh. like that. I was going to say, shoot with enough speed so you get the three over so you can go to the upper left corner. And this is one of those shots where you can three, one, two, three, maybe four rails for the four. Or, yeah, that's a seven in the middle of the table. Going around the nine ball is what I would shoot for. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't have gone that way. I'd have, I'd have tried to straighten that out a bit and go around the nine ball instead of between the nine and the four. Because yeah. that seven was kind of in the way, plus you're going towards that corner pocket if you overhit it. I'm just going to tap that seven up, or the four up off the rail and go, go ducking. Okay, yeah, if you can hit it thin enough. Uh, uh, not the worst. No, but not the best either. He left it so he could just really get you back because he can just cut yep. us a tad, take the four ball around the seven and put the cue ball right up against that seven. Ironically, it looks like he's just planning to make it. Wow. All right, well, that's that, that's an option. Okay. I didn't think it was that. I didn't think it'd get by the four and go up like that, but it did. It did. It and went. He made it look simple. Thanks to the nine ball, he's got a shot on the five. I, I think if he doesn't hit that nine, he's on the wrong side of this five, but he's there. And that's all that matters, oh. and he's going to be, well, I mean, this is not a tough cut. The problem is, is if you cut it, right, going to go for the bank. If you cut it, I don't think you get around the nine. I think the nine is in the way of the three nice. railer. Is he trying to purr into the mic? Unfortunately for Dan, I think Dan missed shots that he sh normally doesn't, which allowed Wolf to get in the game and get a little more comfortable. Don't get me wrong. Wolf, Wolf is a good player. I just think Dan started off a little stronger than Wolf started off, and then Dan made some huge mistakes. Well, I feel, John like, balls I feel like he's going to be banking this one. <laughs> put Wolf back in the game. <laughs> I feel like feel like we'll be banking. Well, Wolf's been banking pretty good. I think he makes it. Hmm. Yeah, I think he makes it. Nope. nope. Interesting. Huh. Honestly, that I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, it felt like that went. I don't know. That's why it would be great in a match like this to be able to have them. Right. What were you thinking there, bud? <laughs> Because it, it, 
I just, I'm surprised he hesitated about banking, and then when he shot it, it looked like he wasn't even trying to make the bank. Right, yeah, Honestly. no, I thought maybe he was trying to leave it on the rail for a second. Oh, oh. Well. And Danny shot that, like, with a little bit of draw that I don't think was even necessary. He definitely jumped up on that. Oh, that's, that's, uh. That was a gift and a half back to Wolf there. Whew. Wolf. <laughs> I held my breath Wolf. a little bit there. <laughs> Wolf. And I blow your house in. <laughs> uh, good Lord. I'm going to huff and yep. puff and blow that nine in. Um, yeah. Wow. That was shockingly uh, <laughs> interesting inning to that game. Oh, yeah. Nine ball at its finest. Derby City Classic 2023. Honestly, nine ball is probably my least favorite game. That's yeah. just my... I, I have to agree. I'm not a nine ball fan generally, but I like one pocket, then eight ball, then probably straight pool, then the rotation games, I guess. But I would ten oh, ball before. Uh oh, the break. Look at this. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> that, that nine been. and one. We're gonna line up for a little bit. Could have been worse. Yeah. He's going to go over and back. Seems so. Yeah, I was trying to find, but I can't remember the name of the damn event. Let's see. Dan Louie. Back and forth, and that'll work. It was a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a galaxy far. I don't far think it was away. as long ago as. Uh, yeah, it's not as long. See, like, because right here's thinking. the picture. I can find the picture. I think, but. Yeah, he dresses fancy like that pretty regular, though. Especially when they do the the billiard stuff, the three cushion. Look at they that. always dress so fancy. Got a little bit of a Bruce Lee look there. Uh, that's a older picture. Yeah, that's way older. Big article on him here. 2019, there's a big article on... Billiard buzz and easy billiards. Yeah, Dan, Danny's been a, a feature of the Northwest for a long while. Oh, now. yeah, yeah. Many titles, I'm sure. <coughs> what are you gonna do? I assume you're pulling back on the right side of the five here. Play the five in the side. Just stop. After. Shoot it in the corner. Four in the corner. Yeah, that makes more sense. I don't know what I'm saying. Is this about to go hill hill? Oh, I feel like, <laughs> like I said, when I, when I first booted up the video and skimmed through it, I'm like, oh, this is a long one. And then they, they rushed right to an early you know, couple of games. I know, right? The first three games I'm were like, bam, bam, bam. I'm feeling like. Well, the first two games was like, uh, oh. No. And it glitched too right as he did that. I didn't see what happened. There was happened. some bad voodoo right there. There's some, there some dark magic in the room. There was some. Woof, what'd you do, buddy? Yeah, that was weird that the video <laughs> that stuttered was weird. Right, right as that the happened. Video, the video. Oh. What is going on? There's some mojo in town. Well, now this is. Yeah, there's some freaky happening. 
Yeah, the video glitched right as Dan went with his forward stroke and he missed that ball. I mean, to be fair, the <laughs> recording might not have glitched. That might have just been a visual thing on our end, but it sure looked it like sure it glitched. It sure looked like it jumped to me. I feel, I feel like that was the thing. <laughs> a little sketch. <laughs> okay. Yep, nice shot there. Oh. Should be good. Ouch. Yeah, see, I'm shooting this in the corner. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. Actually, you could slow roll it and probably cut the eight in the side where you're standing. Yeah. I just, I'm not messing with nothing the way things have been going. Right? There yeah, I go. feel like, yeah, there's a lot of easy options with just letting the ball roll there. Yeah, this here, follow. Nice little follow. Come to the rail. You'll come to the rail past the side. Okay, he punched it in instead. I, I like to follow a little better, but he's still good. We're hill hill, baby. Yep. All right, last oh. game. That's a good match right there. <sighs> oh, wait. Did we miss a game? No. There's one more game. We didn't. We we paid good attention today. There's got to be no. We did not miss a game. There was an. At no point was I not looking at the screen. Oh, I think. I think that's it. Huh? I thought it was eight. eight. I think he went to take a break. It's gonna have to be a very quick break because the clock only shows eleven more minutes. Well, then I guess Dan might have got it, but... Did we miss a game? How did we miss a game? It had to be in the first five games. I swear to God. <laughs> this is your fault. I literally haven't looked away, unless you didn't score one of the first two or three games. No, the, well, the first two games were, like... Super quick, Two yeah. shots each. And then, like, the, it was three to one, and then I, I, it was like... It seemed like it took forever. Well, I mean, blues, pinning my arm down. I can't. Good lord. <laughs> this is incredible. I was so confident that we were fine. Oh, you're going to go back and look? No, I'm going to try to go forward from here. Uh, we're at 153. I think it's over, dude. Oh, there is a rack on the table at 154. All right, leave it alone. Maybe they're going to. I'm pretty sure it's even. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know. Yeah, because I checked. The video runs all the way to the end. They play one last game, and, like, as soon as the last shot's shot, the video stops. All right, well, maybe he ran to the restroom real quick. Oh, my goodness. We are, we are incredible failures. <laughs> okay, 155. Oh. All right. Dude. Alright, so Dan broke. Well, did Wolf come back? Hold on, I don't think so. That's what I'm trying to see. Alright. Hold on. Oh my just, goodness. Just, dude, you're all over now. Yeah, no, he's just hitting balls. Yeah, go to, just, alright, just chill right here. See if you... We had to have missed the game, and it had to have been when it was 3-1. Well, we'll see. He made a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Wolf come back, though. 
But he's playing it like it's... Yeah, he's taking the rack off okay. the table. So. All right, so here we are. <laughs> I swear this is going to be a fast game, then. Because we only got five minutes left. Yeah, well, I mean, it's nine ball. And it seems about right. Well, and he's studying this. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I have no idea. They acted like it was over. Uh, well, I know. That's what, but I'm pretty sure we didn't miss anything. I didn't. It, what makes me doubt is when it was 3-1, to one, I was feeling like uh, it just, the next game took forever. Right? There was that, between 3-1 to one and 3-3 three, uh, three that I thought maybe we had missed one because it just seemed like it took a long time. No, I, this has got to be the last game. I'm not going to lie, I take my eyes off the screen all the time. I know, and I didn't, because you kept doing that. Uh, I don't know, dude. We are incredible failures in this score game. Whoa. <laughs> we, it, okay, when enough people There's get on the Patreon... There's a lot of things going on in our lives. Whatever, here. I'm just saying, when enough people get on the Patreon, that's the first thing we pay for, is a person dedicated oh, to I'm be, yeah, keeping I'm paying, the I'm, score. Yeah, we'll get some good comments. Someone who's actually good at... I, this has got to be the last game. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> well, obviously, <laughs> he's playing this like a game, so it's hill hill. It's got to be. Who's gonna win, Dan or Wolf? We honestly have no <laughs> idea. Mean, uh, it could already be over. <laughs> uh, this could be it. <laughs> well, it's like the the other game oh, recorded man. that's on the Patreon, the Efren uh, uh, filler game. Well, normally that one had a, a score thing too, where where they were they had to score wrong because uh, they both went to negative one, and they went to zero. Remember? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, well, that, luckily the right person won though. But yeah, they didn't take it to both both to right. But I'm just saying, it's, it's always something. And like, <laughs> how am I supposed to know? I don't, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny that's why this one's free is we <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the reason yes I will go with that yeah yeah on the paid ones we keep much better track of the no stuff. we don't or it's even worse <laughs> don't, don't lie <laughs> we just got a lot of things happening right now and also we just suck at keeping score that's that's really uh, what this boils yeah, down to that we've too. We've always been bad at keeping score. That's what I love about streams, though, right? For me, like, I'd be like, oh, did I miss something? I oh, yeah, when we're live? On, right? Well, yeah. no, we're live. You just ask our audience. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The when easy we're live, one. just be like, okay, you're, that's rule number one. <laughs> if we're live, the chat room's responsible yep. for the score. Yeah, that looks good. I feel like he's going to run this out. That's oh, good God, I'm not even. That's what I, I mean, think. he could jaw one of these balls. No, I'm saying it. I said it. No, I'm not. I'm not even going for the commentator's curse. <laughs> well, I mean, he already won, didn't he? I don't know. I we don't know. <laughs> this, this is it. Man, drills that one. Well, where's this Dan Ben all match? Well, he's done playing. Now he's just practicing. It's easier no, to make he's this not. Noise. He's playing. <laughs> in all fairness, he's been doing this the whole match. It's just he does this and then bobbles, been bobbling a ball. So Yeah, them tight pockets, man. You try to drill it in there. It don't take much for it to jar right on back out. But Dan's a seasoned veteran for sure. And looking good. Dan Louis has probably made more shots than Wolf has taken in his life so far. <laughs> probably. Put that into perspective, well, folks. All right. All right, there we go. There Dan we Louis. go. Now we're done. Yeah. Dan Louis takes the win. All right, so... Way to go, Wolf. Good fight, buddy. Good fight. So, pause the video itself. All right, so now I'm going to pause. One. Go turn off the nine ball thing. No, 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 no. Up. 
Turn off that one. Yep. Turn off that now one. Now turn that turn on. Turn on this one. And, uh-oh. And. Nope. Turn off the eyeball. That one. Nope. This oh, one. Yes. And you can get rid of the scoreboard, too. Uh, it's down. Nope. Down. You were so close. Right there. Here. Yep. Ta-da. Ta-da. Thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs> <laughs> too many damn buttons for me to push. Uh, well, Mike, the cat's holding uh, down my arm, or I would have done it for you. So your commentators for this one was Rick and Ken Jones. <laughs> Next time you're going to wish it was world famous Mike D and Boombox. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to check us out at patreon.com forward slash bad boys out of pocket. Thanks for tuning in for the 2023 Derby City Classic. Wolf. There you go, buddy.